Hello everyone, it's Nick Lawson with CDC Take Charge Software and this is Lesson 6 on writing a chess program in Alpha Software. Well if you've been following along, you know I haven't done that many videos because there hasn't been much to present. But now we're adding a feature that I think is very interesting and you guys might like to see, so here it is. In doing the research for this uh, session, I pretty much figured out that every computer chess program out there uses an opening book to track moves for the beginning of the game. So we decided to do the same thing. But in creating that opening book, I saw that it has a whole lot more benefit for the average chess player. And so I've added uh, a user interfaceable opening book, uh, and we'll look at that in just a minute. First. We're in the uh, middle of a game that I've already started, and this is actually a famous game that I'm recreating on the screen. Unfortunately, I don't know which game or match it was because on the internet where I found it, there was no documentation to tell me who the players were and where it took place. Right now, if you look at the screen, you'd say, well, you know, uh, Black has a slight advantage on pieces over white. Uh, white has a slice advantage on position on the board. The reality is this game ends in four moves and white wins by checkmating black. So it's white's turn. Let's pick up where we, we left off. White's bishop takes the rook on d7. All right. <clears throat> Black's knight takes the bishop on d7. White's queen moves to b8 and checks the king. Now you say, wow, you're sacrificing your queen? Because the knight can easily go over there and do that. And in fact, that's what black does. Knight to b8 takes the queen. Now here's the move. White rook, d8, checkmate. The king cannot move because he's moving in a check here, he's moving in a check here. He cannot take the rook because he's in check here. He has no piece that can take that uh, checking piece off the board. Game over. Very cool game. And the whole thing is just 16 moves. Now, <coughs> here's where the opening book comes in play. I've recorded this game and I want to save it because I want to study it further and see if I could learn to play that well. So I click on opening book and I have save game to open book. I click continue. It pops up. I currently have three games in my opening book. So this is the fourth one. And the book type, I'm going to put down famous match. Unfortunately, I don't know this. So I'm going to type unknown. <clears throat> and I don't know the site. I don't know the date. I don't know around it, uh, who played white or black. All I know is white check black. Now the typical way to record that would be um, 1-0. One, 1 is white, and they win. If black won, it would be 0-1. Uh, if it's a draw, it's 1 half dash 1 half. Otherwise, you can type black resigns or um, white resigns or stalemate or whatever you want. Okay, so we've got the information we need. We want to save it. Now, let's take and look at our opening book. So I'm going to come up here. I'm just going to basically start a new game. Um, and we're back on the main pieces of the board. So we go to opening book. We go to opening book. Click continue. Here is our unknown game. So we are going to let the computer play this game in just a second. First, let's look at our opening book. So as I said, you can take and build a list of opening books. You can sort them by personal games and famous matches. These are all famous matches. Um, when you select one, you see the event details over here, and you see the actual moves in the data table here. If you want to see all moves, just click on Tree View, and now you have a tree view of all opening moves by piece. And it's this view that actually the computer uses when it is uh, following along in the opening book on a human versus computer game. So there you go. 
Okay, now what we want to do is we want to watch the computer play this game. So here we go. We select it. We click play game. And here we are. There goes the game. If you look on the left, uh, you can see that the game is being played and uh, what's going on. Now, I don't have any pauses or time delays in here. It's running just at the speed of the computer. Ultimately, I'll do that and allow the user to set the time. And they're also down on these buttons down here. They'll be able to take and pause the game, advance frame by frame, or just make it run all the way through. I think those would be cool features and allow a person to analyze and, and learn how to play. So we're coming up on the end of the game here, and here it comes. And then queen moves up, knight takes queen, rook moves in, checkmate. Game over. And as you can see, it shows down here 1-0 for the result. Okay, now, all this information on how this was done and all the code and how to actually read uh, an opening book uh, notation will be on my blog at cdctakecharge.wordpress.com. So please stop on over there, look at it all, feel free to copy the code, and practice and, and do this on your own. Thanks a lot, folks. You all have a great day.